Recently, I was asked what I used for my filament drying because, because someone was curious about it. And then today, Joe, 3D Maker Noob, he put out a video about how he changed his food dehydrator into a filament drying box and allowed for the filament to come out. I was, I was like, well, this is the perfect time. I can make a video, I can reference Joe's, and I can make a video to show you what I use to dry my filament. In fact, let me get it. Ugh. This is Chef Man. Chef Man! The time of filming, which is right now, it's on Amazon for 120 bucks, 130 bucks, something like that, which is more expensive than other food dehydrators, obviously. But I bought this a while ago and I paid a similar amount of money. Here's why I got it. Food dehydrator that Joe shows off, uh, well, and the print dry from Matter Hackers. Both of those, they store two filaments. It's two. <laughs> It's really not that much. So I went with something that I thought would be bigger and store more filaments. And it has worked really well. Let me show you. It does come with these awesome trays and these trays are great for drying strawberries or apples or bananas or whatever you wanna make when you're on your health craze. What's great about these trays, unlike those other food dehydrators is they remove. So, and just like that, we're left with a big, giant, gaping hole just waiting to be filled with filament. You may be asking though, how much filament does it hold? Let's find out. Oh, here's uh, some tiny Tolman spools. They they like to be dried out. So let's, let's get those five in there. I don't know, how am I doing? Just put one like that. Oh, here's some Matter Hackers, three millimeter PETG, PETG is hygroscopic. Some atomic glow in the dark. Put that in there as well. Oh, some Tallman Nylon 230. That's good stuff. There's some Proto Pasta transitional filament. Is it going to go in there? No, I mean, it's gonna go in just like that. Here's some more Proto Pasta. Do I got room? I got some room in there. And then some Matter Hackers Pink. Oh my God. I got room in there. Oh yeah, just like that. Okay, we fit that all in there. There's still room for more if we really wanted to be creative. That goes on, we plug this in, and then we turn it on. You don't need to access the filament while it's in there. What I do is I dry it, and then I bring it to the printer, and then I print with it. Joe talked about Malta and how the humidity is really high, which is why his solution is perfect. I could convert this, where if I never wanted to put these shelves back in, I could make little bearing rollers, maybe a shelf that I could put the Tallman's on top and the normal size spools on the bottom, and and then I could just have a bunch of exit holes from this and, and then it would be just like what Joe has. Also, what's really cool, up top, you control the temperature and you control the time, which is great because you don't want to overcook your banana chips and you don't want to overcook your PETGs. Although I don't know if that's possible. Oh, one of the big questions though, Mara on Twitter asked if it could actually hold the giant rolls. Let's find out. Is that it? Go get some big rolls. I've got some IC3D PLA. Will that fit? <laughs> it does. Oh, and here's some high five blue. That fits as well. Probably got some room up there for some filament samples or whatever. And we'll put that back on. Good to go. One of the things to remember when you have your desiccant holding trash walker and you want to recharge some of the desiccant here's what you do you take the lid off and you just put some back in there just like that put that back on and now not only are you drying your filament you're also recharging your desiccant in fact you could always just keep some desiccant on the bottom of this thing because if you have it run for 10 hours and the timer goes off and then you're left with a bunch of filament in there, the desiccant will help keep it reasonably moisture free. Well, there we go, that's it. This is my filament drying solution and it's late, so I may have not said things correctly. This is the Chef Man. Chef Man! And you can find it on Amazon and at time of filming, it's like 120, 130 bucks and I'll put a link down in the description. And of course, when you click on that link, Amazon will be like, oh, you like food dehydrators, here are 20 others. But 
we did show that it did hold five spools of Tallman and six, five spools of Tallman and six standard size spools. And we also shoved two giant spools into there and still had room to take the head off of our trash walker desiccant robot. There we go. That's my quick little video about how I dry out my filament. If you have better options, better ideas, or if you do it in a completely different way, or if you're just crazy and you eat carrots with cheese, I'd like to hear it down in the comments. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys. As always, high five.